Well, ditching the binary code for the building blocks of life, the future of computing has been in development for decades at Sandia National Labs. And as News 13's Chad Brummett shows us in the series New Mexico Frontiers, the labs have taken a big leap forward with new technology that has a familiar name. A lot has changed in the world of computing since 1939, when Bill Hewlett and David Packard delivered the HP Audio Oscillator 200B to Walt Disney Studios, testing new sound capabilities for their theatrical release of Fantasia. From the smallest bites of information before World War II, fast forward to 2023 and literally billions run the smartphone in your pocket. But what does the next generation of supercomputing look like? Well, this. An ion trap, affectionately known as the enchilada trap, developed here at Sandia National Labs. It harnesses the building blocks of next-level quantum computing. A quantum computer is a very different paradigm of computing compared to what we're used to in conventional computers. The computer at your office and home runs off binary code, an infinite series of zeros and ones that do everything from creating spreadsheets to creating this very story you're watching right now. Quantum computers, on the other hand, harness the technology of the natural world and thus can solve incredibly difficult, nuanced equations that even the most robust conventional computers simply couldn't touch. They are exponentially faster than a classical computer and they can solve problems in a reasonable amount of time that a conventional computer couldn't solve even if it had the age of the universe to perform it on. Daniel Stick is a physicist with Sandia, and he says the labs have been testing ion traps since the mid-2000s, developing nearly 30 predecessors to the enchilada trap. Harnessing the trapped ions to store information in qubits, quantum computers can tackle complex problems in exponentially shorter amounts of time. We live in a quantum world where quantum mechanics defines how these different chemical um, interactions happen. And so uh, we make a lot of pro uh, approximations with our classical computers. A quantum computer, however, can uh, simulate those things with greater accuracy because it itself is quantum. This could mean a better battery for a more carbon neutral footprint, decoding and encoding complex encryptions, and a more accurate understanding of new medications, which could help cure crippling disease or get ahead of the next global pandemic with faster vaccinations. So since the mid 90s, there's really been a proliferation of research on uh, making those qubits better, developing new qubits, and then over the last 10 years, really trying to engineer them so that you can make bigger systems. But don't get your heart set on bringing home a quantum computer for yourself anytime soon, or ever. As Stick says, they require a great amount of hardware to run and are, at this point anyway, only useful for a small subset of problems. But the development of quantum computers, which could have global implications in the near future, is an important part of the work being done at Sandia. We have many experimentalists, both in the ion trapping world, but also in uh, other technologies. We have a number of theorists who work in this field, uh, and UNM have, has an excellent department uh, in where there are a lot of experts that are world-renowned in quantum computing, and so it's a, it's a big deal for New Mexico and a place where the state really excels. Chad Brummett, KRQE News 13. Sandia and Duke University are research partners through the Quantum Systems Accelerator, one of just five research centers funded by the DOE's Office of Science.